Hello my friends, how's everyone doing today? This is Sherry. I hope you're doing well. I am uh, here to work on some uh, shaker pockets and a shaker belly band. So yes, I've, you know, I've been doing some, some uh, Christmas crafting as I put things away and organize things for my uh, Christmas crafting next year. So I've <laughs> been having a lot of fun. And this is a uh, piece that was a, was a cut apart in a pink, a pink uh, scrapbook paper pad. So I'm going to start with this. I have some other pieces here. I have scissors and uh, sequins, and uh, so we'll just get started. So I have a piece of uh, acetate here, and what I'm going to do is just fit this over this uh, nutcracker, pink nutcracker. I've been dying to use this, and I just thought of this today. Why not make a shaker a belly band out of it for my for a pink journal for next you know for next year so i'm going to cut the uh, acetate out in the shape of this uh, this piece and then go from there and i'll show you as we go along so this is just a piece of i think it was a scrap from something that i you know if i come across any acetate that I want to save. I'll just, I have a spot here in my craft room where I save it. So let's see, there we go. And I try to put these, when I put these down on my desk, I try to put them in a certain spot <laughs> so I know where they are because once I put them down, they kind of like just blend in and disappear. And then it's like, where did I put that? And <laughs> so uh, let me make sure I have this even here with the side. Let me see if it's sticking out at all. I think I will put a little glue on here. Let me see if I have a glue stick here. And just to hold it down while I'm going to sew around this. So here's my piece. I'm going to place it right there so I know where it is. And I'm going to put a little glue on here to hold it in place while I sew it down. So just a little glue along the sides here. And this will disappear, you know, when it dries. And I'm going to leave it, as I sew it, I'm going to leave it open on the bottom. And then I'll put the sequins and things in, and I'll show you all the things I have, uh, you know, to put inside once we get to that step. So here is my little piece. Now let me get it back on here. I'm going to kind of fit it to the top and then go from there. So like this. Okay, it's even with the top, and then just place it down here. And I have some gold thread in my, this is... These pieces right here from my pink paper pad, all these are from my pink paper pad, and this is from something else. And anyway, they're all pink and gold, so, and they're all kind of, these are scraps, and this was a piece I didn't get to use this year because I didn't do it pink. I mean, I guess I could have used it in a normal red and traditional journal, but I kind of didn't, uh, I didn't do that. I kind of, I guess I wanted to save it for, you know, in a in my subconscious or the back of my mind, I guess I wanted to save it for a pink journal. So uh, let me go sew with my thread and I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. I'll be right back. Okay, so I sewed around it. That's the first time I, this is the first time I've used the gold thread. I used the silver thread and something else that I got. And I got gold and silver. So this is the first time I've used the gold. And that is so, I hope you can see the glittery effect of it as it kind of shines and the light bounces off of it but it's so cool and it really looks nice it just uh, it looks wonderful I love it so uh, what I have to put in here uh, I have these little spoons that I use to scoop up my sequins or whatever and I have some sequins organized in this little box of you know has all these little squares in it I actually have some diamond painting little pieces in here too but I'm going to go for the pink and the gold items in here. There's some gold stars in here too I could use. And then I have some pink pink sequins right here. I have some of these little pieces that are kind of like, it. they look pink when the light shines, pink or white when the light shines off of them. They're kind of iridescent. I have some gold flecks here uh, and some gold glitter. So most of these things um, I got at Walmart. They were on clearance one time about a year ago or so at Walmart. So I, you know, kind of stocked up. Oh, I have this white glitter, 
glittery too, kind of iridescent also. But it was on clearance at Walmart, and then I had been demonstrated for a, I had done a demonstration of a diamond painting for one of my companies that I demonstrate for. And uh, so I had that left from that, the diamond painting beads. So let's put some things in here. Let's start off with, what do I want in here most? I kind of want to put some of these stars in here. But the stars are one-sided. And they're I think they're from the diamond painting kit that I had. Or, yeah, I had. But I, so I want to put them in so that the gold is up. So when I, when I use something like that where I want to make sure the gold is up, I kind of just put in, you know, one at a time like this. And just kind of place it in there so it's face up, you know, with the gold. And then let me do one more. I might do some more off camera, but let me just show you where I have three in there right now. Like that. Oops, that one just turned around. Hold on. <laughs> let me see if I can get it. It's kind of uh, got some electricity in there too. Okay, let me get that one in there. Okay, now let's put some... Let's put some, that looks really pretty with that gold in there. I want to put some pink in there too. I've got some pink, I'm going to I'm going to put some pink diamond painting beads in here. So I'm going to not worry about, those are silver on one side and pink on the other. So I'm not going to wor really worry about how they land because that would be way too tedious. So I'm just going to put a little scoop in there. And then let's get a little scoop of gold sequins out of here. Here's a little scoop there of those. And here's one that fell down here. Uh, oops. There we go. And then let's see what else we have here. Uh, that's the gold I just used. Uh, let's put some gold diamond painting beads in there too. I've got the pink, now the gold. Okay, now let's get some of these little white, like the white glitter. And you know what? Let's get go ahead and put some pink sequins in there. Uh, I'm not opposed to putting a lot of sequins in here. This is a tall uh, piece of paper. It's cardstock, so let's see what I can do here. It's a little bit sticky there on the where it was sealed. Okay, so let me just dump a few of these and see if I can dump a few in here. Or let, let me scoop them out with my spoon, actually. I'm trying to figure out the best way not to make a mess here. <laughs> so I'm going to get a bunch on this spoon, as many as I can, without dumping them all over the place and see if we can open this up. Put them in here. And I dropped a couple here, so let me see if I can get those in there. <clears throat> One more. And now some of the little white pieces. This one here. The ones I said were iridescent. I don't think I've used this one before, actually. I need even, haven't even opened it yet, so let's cut that open. There's no, like, Ziploc on here, so I can't... I'll have to put this in something else. I can't reseal it. So, let's get a scoop of these. So this will be sewn around, and like when I get done putting things inside, this will be sewn around also across the bottom here. And then this will be ready. I can either glue it down next year when I do do a, uh, a uh, journal. And this has a little, I can either, these have a little uh, shaker here on the top with little holes, or I can take this top off, this plastic top, and scoop it out. This is glitter, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it the way it is and see if I can sprinkle some in here. I just want to kind of get a lot in there. And then we'll get the uh, other white pieces or iridescent pieces in there. So let me see. I'm trying to see how much I can see in there of this. I probably need a lot in there in order to see this. So I might take that lid off in just a second. Let's put some... I put some of these in here already in the pink. Okay, let me take this lid off and see if I can get quite a bit more. I see now when I put it down, I see a lot of pink. I think I'm going to need a lot more gold. Oh, and I can see this, but I only put a little bit in there, so I'm just going to try to, without dumping the whole thing in there, put quite a bit more of this so we get that sparkle. And then, I 
think a little bit more gold and we'll be doing good. So we didn't put any gold glitter in yet, did we? Oh, let's put some of the gold flecks in there. There's not a lot in here. This little cap just kind of screws off or pulls out. I guess, yeah, there's little screw marks on there. And so a few of these little flecks in here. That's quite a bit, so I wouldn't mind dumping the whole thing in there, but <laughs> that would be a lot for this, and it might overpower it. Okay, so that might be enough. Let me just sh kind of shake it around here, and I think that's going to be enough. I think that's going to be fun next year, so let me show you. Let me just tap this down and kind of get it all kind of mixed up. And then I'll go sew across the bottom. Let me uh, hold it closed and kind of... I'll just try and get it all mixed up in case it doesn't really mix up that well. Okay, there we go. It's pretty mixed up there. There's a lot of things everywhere and I don't want it all, all on his face. So uh, let me get it off of his face. There we go. And we'll see how much it moves around after I sew it down. But I've got it away from the bottom here right now so I think I can sew across there pretty easily without running over any uh <laughs> sewing over any sequins this one fell out just now so I'll be right back I'm going to go over to my sewing machine to show, sew across the bottom and I'll show you what it looks like just one second okay here we go all done they do move around nicely in there so that'll be a little piece I can use for a belly band next year it's only uh I measured, the, measured this once before for you when I showed it to you, but uh, it's only eight, well, just under eight inches tall. So, you know, it'll fit in a journal easily. And I can either sew it down or glue it down at the time when I actually use it. So, um, I want to do the same thing with some of these right here, or all of them actually. I would like to. So, let's see what kind of. Um, pieces of acetate I have left here and what they will fit onto. So let's see if this piece is wide enough to fit. It's a little, you know, this way. It's a little narrow for those. And also, well, I could cut a little bit of this paper off, I guess, and then use it on here. But I don't know. Let me see if it's straight across the top. It's pretty as uh, yeah, it's straight across the top. I hate to make it any narrower than it is, though. So I think I'm just going to put this aside and get my other piece here. I have one more piece here. Well, I have one more piece out. I have more put away. So let's uh, cut some of this. So again, I'm just going to do the same thing. So this is how I've been doing, but, you know, belly be I mean, um shakers for a while uh do po i haven't i don't know if i've done i think i did a pocket one time before so that's why i kind of wanted to do some, another you know some more pockets i have done cards where you can make a card into a shaker and then use it for however you wish uh, as a journaling spot or whatever okay so that's going to be for that one let's see if we can get one more out of here and there's a little piece there so I think these will be really fun to use next year. And these are not too wide either. These are about five inches or maybe a little less wide this way. So they will fit just about in any on any page uh, that I will be using in my pink journal next year. So let's see. Uh, this is kind of an important step because you don't want it coming. I mean, if you're going to make them like this anyway, I don't want it going beyond my card, my card stock here. So I kind of really want to get it right next to, if there's any poking out, I want to cut it off. Okay, I think that's good. So we've got two ready. I'll have to get out some more acetate to make more for these. So let's see. What I need to do is go, oops, wait, there's a little piece right here that's not right. I just saw it right here. 
a light hit just right where I could see it. Okay, and right here, a little sl tiny sliver, not even all the way down, just right here. Okay, so I'm going to go and uh, what I think I'll do on these, what might be the easiest, is to sew around here and leave the bottom open and then we'll put all our stuff in and go from there. Let me put a little glue on here. Where's my glue stick? The glue, you know, I wouldn't want to do it without gluing it on a little bit like this to keep it in place because it could move and then and then it won't be in the right spot when you're, you know, when you're done. So let's see, where's my piece right here? So yeah, I think these are a lot of fun, you know, and sometimes it's kind of like the un un almost un unexpected thing, maybe in a junk journal, like so fun and unexpected, you know. So, and I haven't done, I didn't do any this year for any of my journals, so I was like, you know, I never got to do that. I just, I don't know, never took the time. So now that's why I want to do it now. So they're ready for next year. At least some some of these, and maybe I can make some more. And these happen to be my scraps too. I have more scraps here that are kind of more traditional colors. So, we, depending on uh, what I do with those, if I have some left that are the right shape, I could go ahead and make some more shakers out of those in the different colors, the traditional colors, red and green and things. Okay, so I'm going to go sew these in the gold thread, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the same thing, but on a smaller scale, as far as putting the uh, sequins in here. <laughs> Let me show you. I really can't get over how pretty that gold thread is. So, again, let's see what we have. Let me bring my little container over here. Let's get a few stars in there. Again, I, would, I wouldn't mind using up some of these, so I'll have more room to put more stuff in here. <laughs> some of the other things that I have, like in that bag and things. So... Let's put like four stars in here. One, two, three, four. And did I just drop one? Uh, let's see, I've got one, two, three in there. I keep dropping my fourth one. <laughs> okay. And now some of these gold sequins right here. We'll get in there. I'm going to spread them around a little bit without turning over my stars, hopefully. And let's see, these are the pink diamond painting beads. Let's put some of those in there. And anything else? These are gold right here, gold diamond painting beads. A little bit of those. So like by that time, by the time I put all that in there, you have a lot of you have a lot of gold. <laughs> and then some of these pink. Let me put some, I really like the white and I think that when, you know, it is held in a light, it really sparkles, this white glitter, and then some of this pink, the pink sequins, let me get this open. See now it closed, it re resealed itself, itself here. <laughs> so let me get this back open. All right. So I'll get a scoop out. I should do, be doing this to both of them at the same time, but I'm kind of doing one at a time to get it all in there. Okay, so let me kind of close it up and shake it around, mix it up. See if we need anything else in there as far as color. I think uh, it's probably enough. Like it's probably enough. I just want to see if I have enough pink in there. I think I do. Okay. Let's go ahead and put some pink ones in this one. And then I'll find some more acetate and go ahead and do those other three off video. And we'll just finish this one real quick. So a scoop of pink, a scoop of gold, this one's kind of getting empty, the gold, and a 
this pink this that was the gold diamond painting beads yeah if you have diamond painting beads and you don't you're not really you know you kind of bought it to try it or you did a demonstration like I did and you now you don't know what to do with them because you don't want to do anymore <laughs> you can use them for something like this because I was like yeah I was reorgan when I was reorganizing I was like what am I going to do with these and I realized they're kind of shiny and uh, you know, why not just use them for something like, you know, a shaker. Okay, so I think I got everything out of there that I need. Ooh, ooh. A little pink sequins are starting to spill out here. Well, that is really going to have to be put into something else because I don't like the way that's all kind of just getting messy there. Now, what did we use in the last one? We didn't use any gold glitter. Uh, this one right here, we didn't put any gold glitter in there. So let's see if I can shake enough in there to not take off the lid. Yeah, it doesn't, it's hard to get out of those holes. You would think they would be big enough, but it's kind of hard to get out of those holes. So let me see if I can take this lid off without making a mess. And I'll just come in with my wet wipe and clean this area here. When I'm done, okay, so I got a little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, and we'll be done. I didn't put these in the other one either, so let's put some of these in, make them both a little different. I'm glad I didn't do them at the same time because they're both both a little different. Um, let me get my spoon in there. These little spoons I got them at Dollar Tree with a little. Um, I think they have them now. They don't carry them. They're not in the store all the time, but I think I saw them like a couple weeks ago. It's a little party bowl set. It comes with like, it's supposed to be like for ice cream or something. It's in the party section. It has some little pink bowls and these spoons with it. So, and I just use the, this bowls in here too for a little, you know, organizing type things. So, uh, let me shake this around, see if we have enough of everything in there. Yes, I think we do. It's spilling out. So let me go and sew these and I'll show you how these turn out. There's one of the little spark white sparkly iridescent pieces there. Wouldn't mind getting that back in there. It's funny how they turn colors depending on what they're next to, depending on the color they're next to and there's a piece of acetate and uh, how the light is shining on them. Okay, just one second. Okay, I finished. I think they're super fun. I got my pink Christmas trees full of sequins and all kinds of goodies there. Shaker. These are going to be pockets. I hope I said that already, but if I didn't, these are going to be pockets that I can either sew down. I would, you if I sewed them down, I would use the gold thread again to sew them here, here, and here. Just sew over where I am. But, but hopefully I'll be able to glue them down here and here and here and... Uh, They'll be just ready to go and then they look like they were sewn down because they're already sewn on but I made sure to over like when I sewed that last little bottom uh, strand on there I just made sure to overlap here and back stitch to make sure nothing escapes you know what I mean so yep those are done so super fun I think those would be great for next year I like how I ended up using this because I wasn't sure how I wanted to use it this way I I didn't really use it this year, and then I thought today, actually, of making it into a, and I hope you can see all the little sparkly bits in there, the little, sh like, shreds and everything in there. They just really pick up the light in those white pieces, how they're iridescent. So, um, yeah, lots of fun. So thanks for watching today. I hope that gave you some ideas, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day.